subscribe to the Light Sport and Ultra Light Flyer web video magazine with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos, each two hours in length, propeller maintenance, advisories, and repairs, VRS parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com. Uh, this is Victoria. She is a member of the Explorer uh, troop that's uh, an aviation explorer and she's one of the kids that are building this plane. So Victoria, how did you get involved in building this airplane? My uncle, just, uh, they were flying, um, they were going to have a flying thing where they taught some um, kids over at the aviation explorers by the airport how to fly and so he thought I'd be interested and he talked to my mom about it and then she said yeah sure and then so I went and then he was talk um after that he was talking about um every Saturday how they would have meetings on Saturdays and I asked my mom and she said yeah again and so I've been going What all have you been involved in in the construction of the airplane? Um were you involved, for example, in any welding? Yes, I was. Were you welding landing gear and that type of thing? Yes, sir. And I got to stay in the front part of the plane. So you were working in the uh, engine mount, uh, the engine collar? area? Yes. yes sir. Randy, this girl seems to be a little bit modest about what she's actually done, but in talking to you, she's done quite a bit, especially on the wings of this airplane, because I built two or three of these, and I know that you're a fair amount of hours uh, worth of uh, labor to get them finished. Uh, yes, the uh, and she was involved in it. They've been they put the covering on. They've stitched the ribs. Uh, the kids have covered the whole plane. Um, and have involved done, in the heat shrinking and fabric to get it tight. Uh, yeah, they've worked on all that. Uh, don't believe y'all got in on the painting, but uh, I did. You did, but they uh, they did all the covering on it. And what about the installation of the ribs and that type of thing? Were they involved in the gluing and so on? That's about it. And we've got control systems here. Who was the one that was able to install the instruments and the control systems on Uncle Bill. <laughs> so, uh, you, so this has been like a, a whole group. How many people were involved in the group? Fifteen kids and about seven or eight adults. And how many years or how much time have we actually spent now building it? We've spent a year now. It's going to take at least another year. Yeah, it's a two-year project. They've, they've got a year now, and uh, we'll finish it up this going year, the next year. And what's the purpose of building this airplane? I mean, are the kids looking at flying it when they finish, or is it going to come up for sale, or what's the... They're, uh, um, yeah, what what they're doing is uh, going to finish this, um, giving it away, uh, we're taking donations. They will take the proceeds from that and start another kit. And the goal is for uh, any extra, after they do that, to get another group going. Uh, and start a scholarship for pilot training or a and mechanic. So if somebody wanted to follow them along on their progress or uh, get in touch with them uh, for donation or anything like that, is there a website or anything they can go to? Uh, yes. Uh, have you got it? Yeah, it is uh, www.ae491.org. Thank you very much for your time then. Thank you.